GLP-1 side effects. So when we are looking at uh, glucagon-like receptor peptides, um, one, knowing that we have these medications for the longest time, it's not that they've been just released in the last two to three years, right? Um, as endocrinologists, we've been using it since... Um, since uh, almost 2007 to 2009 when they were released. So the side effects are relevant to how they work. Um, and they are trying to, I'm going to simplify this, but you know, our stomach contracts, uh, we have one stomach, not two, uh, but it tends to contract and at a specific speed. Okay, so GLP-1 is just reducing the the pace of the contraction. And that is one of the mechanism of actions where it tends to send signals to the brain that, you know what, I've had food, um, I'm full, and that changes our appetite signaling. And now comes multiple effects on how our metabolism is changing, how the shift in the visceral fat is occurring. So the side effects are, you know, very commonly you'll hear nausea, vomiting. But in real world, when we are starting patients on very, very low doses, which is a starter dose, I don't see vomiting. It's very rare if the patient has not been assessed. Maybe they have underlying stomach issues like, you know, reflux or some bowel surgeries that they will experience vomiting on a very, very low dose. But yes, nausea can uh, can occur. Uh, and as individuals are getting used to, probably after four to six weeks, that tends to subside or is very, very transient. And it doesn't cause them to discontinue the medication. Constipation is the next one. You may see diarrhea, but you know more in the long term, it's usually constipation. And that, like I said, is relevant to the mechanism of action. It slows down. So it slows down the gut contractility. 